Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Leo, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple this month. We're going to get right into it, guys. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please. I'm going to pull individual energy for Scorpio, and then I'm going to pull individual energy for Leo, and then we'll get into it. All right. So I am using Yin Yang Oracle. I like these. I do. I like these. They say what they got to say. It ain't too much of this and too much of that and all that stuff. So let's see where we are. Scorpio, give me your individual energy, please, in this relationship with Leo. What's going on? Ooh. Inner child. Scorpio, I'm showing something here about you healing from a situation or you're in a phase of healing. Give me more, please. I'm healing. We also see here something about not taking any action. Scorpio doesn't have the courage to do something, deal with something, move towards something. It says new beginnings. Some of you guys might be thinking of exit in a situation. Courage. There's no action being taken. Healing. That could be why. North Node. Cosmic Purpose. Scorpio, you could be uh, looking into what your purpose is. Understanding. Trying to understand what your purpose is. What am I here to do? What is? What am I here to do? North Node. We also see something about trusting divine time. Some of you guys are giving it all. I'm trusting. There's something here about trusting, purpose, trusting, divine timing. Give me one more. I don't mind pulling more of these because they're like not too much to them. One more, please. We also see guilt and sabotage. Some of you guys are suffering from guilt or coming out of the energy of guilt. Some of you guys feel like you may have allowed too much or some of you guys feel like you went too far in a situation. All right, you can play out both ways. We see something here about purpose, new beginnings. How do I move forward in this situation? How do I move forward in this relationship? How do I get out of this guilt? I feel like you guys are coming out of the energy, but I think it requires healing. Right? That's what I see. All right, we'll see what this is about. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull individual energy for Leo. Leo, what's going on with you, Leo? shuffle again what's going on with you leo what's going on leo your feelings right now in this relationship please what are you focused on remember awakening you guys are remembering something give me more awakening awakening to something expectation self-worth okay there's some challenges here with your self-worth and there's a challenge with scorpio Trying to get to a new beginning. Guilt, sabotage could be holding them back. But I feel like they're dealing with these issues. Self-worth for you is coming up as a challenge. Expectations, not getting. I don't know if this self-worth is you don't. I'm not getting what I want out of something. Or, you know, I've been failed somehow. Or my self-worth seems to be low. Release, surrender, purge. Some of you guys might be looking to exit this. Release, surrender. Or you're looking to give all of your insecurities over. Right? Like, I'm not going to deal in that way anymore. I'm not going to uh, walk in the the element of insecurity anymore. I'm going to walk with confidence. Surrender. Ooh, give me more. Comfort zone. self no clinging. Some of you guys are clinging over to a situation. Surrender. Clinging. Give me more. That could be another challenge for you. Dreams. Messages coming through. Some of you guys could be reject rejecting messages that you actually hear or see in your dreams. You want to pay attention to those. You might want to, they're subconscious thoughts. So if that's something that you're thinking, you might want to figure out why. All right. Now, for some of you guys, you're being awakened to some messages, something that you need to know. For some of you guys, you may have been let down, expectations let down, or I'm let down in this relationship. I see Scorpios also healing too. There's healing, there's new beginnings, there is awakening, and then there is self-worth. This could be a confidence issue that I see in this relationship. Let's see. Surrender, divine timing. What else do we have over here? Hold on. Pur Wait, it's not, it's not purpose. Purpose. Scorpio is trying to find a purpose in something. I feel like these could be individual journeys. But I also feel like there's something of being let down in separation too. Let me pull one of these. Give me a card to help me understand. It's a little different, but it's all right. Give me a card that sums up Scorpio. What's up with Scorpio? Self-creation. Be the author of your own life. 
Okay, Scorpio, I feel like that's what's happening. Some of you guys could have, um, some of you guys could have stopped investing in yourself and your creativity because you're in a relationship. Because I'm in a relationship, because my family, you know, my family needs me. I don't have time to focus on my stuff. Give me Leo, please. Give me Leo. Self-creation for Scorpio. Dawn of love. Love is rising on the horizon of your life. Okay. Oh, all right. I think I get it. All right. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not sure if this is a story where you guys find each other, find your ways back to each other. There's a possibility here. I see this Scorpio is being very inspired by something. This is good communication, better communication. It's most likely communication that goes in a better direction than it had with Leo in the past. I feel like for some of you guys in this relationship, the cards are saying that it is a great time for you guys to move forward in something that is creative that could be for you personally in a project that could be work related, but also in a family. The cards are saying that some of you guys are looking forward to starting a new family. Some of you guys, this is purely an artistic pursuit for Scorpio. Now, for some of you guys with the King of Cups reversed, there are some concerns from Scorpio in this relationship. And let me just tell you what they are. I'm showing here that Scorpio is very concerned about Leo's behavior. There's something with Leo's behavior where Leo has this thing where they swing up and down with emotions. Like, I don't know which Leo I'm going to get today. So I wake up. I don't know which one you are today. I got to wait and see what your first words are to see. Right? I have to see what your attitude is to see how, how you're going to be today. But Scorpio has found a way to mentally do backflips to accommodate Leo, right? So I feel like in this scenario, this is a situation where Scorpio knows their Leo very well. If you are, if you guys are together and you understand how to walk on eggshells, like today, I probably got to walk on eggshells that are probably a little bit harder than, you know, they would be if it were this time and that time or whatever. Right. So you're able to gauge you know, what kind of shoes you need to wear to get through the situation today, right? So there's a lot of jumping around and accommodating and, and all this other stuff. The cards are saying that you're also concerned about Leo and how they avoid these very difficult situations, right? Rather than dealing with them head on, they won't deal with them. So Scorpio also has concerns about that in this relationship. So that's behavior. Now with Scorpio, Scorpio's like, you know what? And if all fairness, because I do believe that there are lots of Scorpios, especially this one. It looks like this Scorpio is being fair because Scorpio is not only concerned about Leo's behavior, but Scorpio is like, all right, in all fairness, let me take a look at my own behavior. Is it possible that I could be sabotaging? Is it possible that I could be contributing to Leo's behavior? Could I be aggravated in a situation? So Scorpio does decide to go in because we see a life change coming up for Scorpio. I see a Scorpio that could maybe in the past not been as diplomatic as they are. Because we do see that there's a significant life change that comes in, right? And this is about you guys uh, expanding something. It's about, I don't know, not even expanding. I think this is expanding your world. Why? Because I feel like for some of you guys, there's a project or something that's going to come to an end or a relationship that comes to an end. So this could speak to a group, right? Scorpio and Leo who could be separating. Somebody decides to walk away. But we also have... A Scorpio Leo relationship where Scorpio's like, I'm willing to forgive. I want to forgive. I want to move forward. And it does look like Scorpio. I feel like for some of you guys, you may have given up a little bit or stopped doing something that you wanted to do, whatever. But I feel like you get back on track. I feel like you guys are able to prioritize and I need this over here. I need that over there. And then I start to focus because we see financial reward comes in for your efforts. So that's a great thing. And also... You're being rewarded for the self-reflection. That's a great thing. When we see Leo here, and this is where it gets a little weird because we see where Scorpio is healing from something. Scorpio's like, I don't know if we can have a new beginning in something. Scorpio's like, I'm going to focus a little bit more on myself and what it is I do in terms of my craft, but also I'm going to focus on myself. And this is about making sure that I'm not sabotaging good things that come before me. So I feel like this is speaking to about three Scorpios here, you know, three different ones. We have, um, and I guess I'll say it again. We have the ones who are willing to forgive a situation and move forward, maybe without the person. We have somebody here who is judging themselves. We have somebody here who is uh, judging a partner and they may go back, whatever. So just getting through some kind of situation and deciding what it is you want to do, but also acknowledging I still have these concerns about my Leo. 
Why does Scorpio have these concerns about Leo? Well, we have the Magician card here. The Magician card talks about you guys being focused on your creativity. So I feel like there could have been a little bit of paralyzation for Leo. There's a possibility, possibility where Leo was a little bit stuck. Creatively stuck. Emotionally stuck for some of you guys. This card is saying that Leo has all these plans, but they don't have a strong foundation. The cards are also saying that there's a possibility Leo is dealing with some outside, um, I don't know, external people. This could be business, this whatever this is about. Could be just people, right? But the cards are saying that these people that you have around you, Leo, you need to make sure that they're not just doing things or around you for their own benefits. You're being advised to question the motives. I don't get that this is Scorpio, though. I don't necessarily feel like this is Scorpio. See, Scorpio is up right now when it comes to their creativity and things like that. But the Magician card for you suggests that there's some sort of a block, there's frustration. The cards are actually saying that you're ready to move on from a situation. You're ready to move on because there's all these restrictions. You feel like you can't move, you feel like you're trapped. I'm going to go a little bit further. When I read the text to this, I'm getting that there have been some external people entities, whatever, whatever, that could have been stopping you from doing something. And I feel like they did stop you for a little while. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a possibility you could have decided, I'm going to give up. I'm not going to move forward, but something opens up for you guys. I see the frustration here, but with the world card, which comes next for you, the card says that there's success, there's happiness. These roadblocks become removed from you right? So you guys have this opportunity now to celebrate something that could have been blocked before. This could be passion for your relationship. It could be passion for a project, passion for work. It could even be a hobby, whatever that's about. But the cards are saying that there's going to be some celebrations here. Some of you guys could be going to weddings, birthday parties. Some of you guys could just be traveling. But this is traveling that is happiness. Some of you guys are now able to travel. You're now able to fly. Some of you guys just got some new papers in the mail. <laughs> you can fly now. We have the page of pentacles here for you, Leo. This talks about good news coming in for money. You see how that happened? You see how you were blocked? And then you see how the doors open. And then you see page of pentacles here. This talks about the money coming in, the finances coming in. This talks about you guys having this opportunity to stay on top of your finances. I feel like finances for you could have been a worry. I don't know that it is a worry that you, I don't know if you told Scorpio about this, but there's something here where it feels like there's some interference, some bad emotions. I got another piece of this read that cut off and I might actually put it on my other page. I think you guys will get a different perspective on it. And I like to do that because I think I was like 11 minutes in and it cut off, but I was like, you know what? I think there's enough information there. I'm going to post it. So I'm not going to delete that. And you guys will get a little bit more if you're interested in the other piece of the story, right? So for some of you guys, this is about you guys being able to now move forward in something, focus on something. You guys are being advised that now that you have this new, um, this new abundance coming in, Leo, you're being advised not to spend it extravagantly. You guys are being advised that you want to focus on future goals, right? So for some of you guys, this is a good time now for your project to move forward. All right. Now we do see some differences here. I feel like there are some time differences. I feel like for Scorpio, when they came into the read, they were ready to, you know, ready to go because the cards were saying it's a good idea to move forward. But then we had Leo that has some deception around them. I don't feel like this was Scorpio. I feel like these were other influences. I think both of you guys may have been dealing with situations before you get to your prospective spots. Where are they? So we have the four swords here. The Four of Swords is a common energy for you guys in this read. It talks about reassurance. It talks about a time of recovery after a time of, you know, difficulty, conflict. The cards are saying that this card here with the Four of Swords is about true respite or true rest from conflict. Things that have drained you, gone. You get to be free for a little bit. And for some of you guys, you literally could be recovering from some sort of an illness. You don't feel good. You got a little cold. All right. Now, I'm going to pull love and see what's going on here. Let's pull love. I still feel like for some of you guys, there's a possibility of a third party who is a person 
But for some of you guys, the third party is the lies, the deception, the you telling me this and that, and that's not what the case is, right? Okay. Show me love for this couple, please, under four swords. Show me love for this couple, please, under the four swords. Ooh, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, both of you guys are being advised that it's the right time for you to move forward in something. In this case, this could be you expressing your emotions towards each other. This could be Leo finally saying, hey, I surrender. I surrender. I'm going to cling to you. But there's still some things that you guys need to know. I still feel like, Leo, there's a rejection of you accepting messages in your dreams. So you guys want to be mindful about that. But Scorpio, also you with the guilt and sabotage, I feel like you're working on that. New beginnings, I feel like you're working on that. I feel like you guys are doing the work necessary to get to this point where you get to express love to each other. Give me one more, please, for this couple under Four of Swords. Separation. Okay, there's a possibility you guys could be coming out of separation for those more established couples. All right, separation. Some of you guys are deciding, do I want to be separated? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like you guys could be coming back together again. All right, that did come out reverse. There's a possibility of renewal. The cards do reference forgiveness under the judgment card. It talks about forgiveness. Give me more, please, for this couple. Scorpio and Leo under love. Give me more, please. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. All right, so you guys, there's a possibility. The work is being done for you guys to get back together. Get together. Huh. All right. Make the effort. Great love. Okay. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You guys, it looks like you're going to land back together somehow. We're going to take a look. Let me just plug my phone in, guys. We're going to take a look and see what challenges could come up under these relationship cards. You know, maybe it'll give us a little bit more insight about how this couple separated or why they're not together just yet or whatever. Whatever comes up. All right. I'm going to pull these. And although I did shuffle, I'm going to shuffle them again. Give me a message from Scorpio. From Scorpio to Leo. Ooh. From Scorpio to Leo, these cards are very... Well, they're shaped weird. That's the first piece. <laughs> All right. From Scorpio to Leo. Give me a card, please. Scorpio, what do you have to say to Leo? Let's see. I'm struggling to overcome my addictions. I've come a long way, but I still need help. Mm, healing. New beginnings. Scorpio's still struggling with addictions. They're saying that they come a long way, but they need help still. Give me Leo, please. Leo. Leo, what do you have to say to Scorpio? What do you have to say to Scorpio? I have some doubts about the long-term success of this relationship. Will you still love me when I'm old and gray? Mm. So, Leo, you're questioning Scorpio's loyalty. Give me one more, please, from Scorpio to Leo. From Scorpio to Leo. Money worries are keeping me up at night, and I'm just not in a good place right now. Hmm. This is starting to look reversed. Leo, what do you have to say to Scorpio? Hmm. Take what resonates, guys. Leave the rest behind. I can't imagine my life without you. You rock my world. I have some doubts about the long term. Okay, do you really love me? I can't imagine. I'm struggling. Money worries. Okay. Well, give me some more. Give me deeper cards. Give me more. Give me a message from Scorpio. From Scorpio to Leo. From Scorpio to Leo. What is up, Scorpio? These cards, listen. In this particular couple, somebody has an addiction. This has come out. I have an addiction. I'm struggling. Addiction. This is somebody in this relationship. If it's not you, Leo, it's Scorpio. If Scorpio was coming up under your line, this is what you're saying. I'm struggling to overcome addictions. I have an addiction. All right. Leo, what do you have to say to Scorpio? What do you have to say to Scorpio? You complete me. I have some doubts about the long term. I can't imagine my life without you. You complete me. Give me one more, please. Give me one more from Scorpio. From Scorpio to Leo. 
I need you. I have an addiction. I need you. Leo, give me one more money worries. Uh -huh. Scorpio, you do have something coming in about money. Guys, I don't know where this fits. I'm not sure where this fits. Apply it to your story and you'll be able to see who's who. You hurt me. Mm. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to say this reading is over. Let me pull one of these. This is just so right. Give me common energy or advice. What is this couple of years in there? This is a random deck I got here. Give me, um, beware. Be careful who you trust at this time. Uh, you guys, somebody don't trust somebody, somebody, I don't know. I don't know if this is about being clingy. Cause remember clingy came up clinging. And the energy here shows that Leo, no matter what Scorpio says, Leo is still here for it. I have doubts about the long term. I can't imagine my life. You complete me. You hurt me. Awakening. South nude. Surrender. Dawn of love. They feel something. But Scorpio saying, okay. Leo, you're being advised anyway to watch out for the actions of other people. This could be Scorpio. At first, I thought it wasn't. It could be because, you know, we got TVs missing. Hmm. Whatever this is about. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Beware. Okay, maybe you guys have taken that time, but I don't know. I see you guys. I still see it coming back together. I still see caution. Give me one more card. One more common card, just because I'm interested. One more common card, please. External. Yep. Mm -hmm. There are people interrupting. There are people trying to get up all in your mix, in your relationship. People got stuff to say. Somebody could be partying too much. This is party. But I believe it came out reversed. So you could be coming out of that energy. Whoever's doing what. Mm. All right. That's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. This was a pretty... I think it revealed some things. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Ah, 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 ah. Please. I love you guys so much. Bye.